All right, little Jimmy, sit on down. Let's let's have a talk with Daddy. All right, all right, boy. We're gonna talk about why you need to be using a wooden comb. No, 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 no. I don't care what your mom said. I don't care if she brushes your hair with a plastic comb. That's your mama, and I'm. I'm not your mama, boy. I'm your daddy, all right? And your daddy says, we brush our daggum beards with a wooden comb. You know why? Because your mama don't have a beard. And if she does have a beard, that's your daddy, boy. You understand? Now let's brush our beards. Ah! Oh, oh, me. Hey, everybody, what's up? Thanks for checking out this video here. So it seems like you might be interested in watching more of my videos, or you were potentially interested in learning a little bit more about why you should use a wooden comb versus a plastic comb. Could be that. All right. I just briefly wanted to give a shout out to the Beard Struggle for sending me this nice wooden comb here. The Beard Struggle comb, look at that. Mm, wooden, solid, compact, easy to take it with you, brush your beard anytime you want. Let's get to the solution. So I'm gonna list a couple of reasons why the wooden comb should be your go-to solution for brushing your beard versus a metal comb or versus a plastic comb. Number one, plastic magnetizes the hair, which can cause breakage. So immediately right there, if you're using a plastic comb, you are potentially causing hairs to break on your head as well as your facial hair. I can't believe your mama told you that. Your mama has let you brush your hair and your facial hair for so many years with a plastic comb. You better have a talk with your mama. Number two, this wooden comb here or any wooden comb in general is great because it can evenly distribute the oils on your facial hair and your skin across your beard so whether you're brushing your head hair or your facial hair it's going to evenly distribute that but why does it evenly distribute this word here sebum 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 Basically, it's just the oil kind of build up around your skin, the kind of fatty oils. Because it is wood, it absorbs part of that on there and then allows you to sort of evenly distribute that all across your facial hair. Yeah. Uh-huh. But why not the metal comb? Boom, experiment. Pour some oil on metal, then pour some oil on wood. Done. Now you know. In number three, a metal comb can sometimes be very pointy, too thin, just stabbing yourself in the head. So metal comb, eh, kind of iffy there, not always great. You're literally scraping plastic across your flesh and your hair and metal at times. Yeah, but with the wooden comb, oh, that's right. There's a reason why you want to use the wooden comb. It's wood, and what does wood do? Wood can be buffed out. Wood absorbs moisture and things like that from the air around it. So over time, your beard brush will become softer. Your beard brush will become slightly more warped. And typically with a wooden comb, it is required to be a certain thickness or it could break. You're left with a device that is a little easier on your skin and your scalp. Bravo! Bravo! Yeah! So what did we learn? Plastic causes static, that breaks your hair. Metal combs can sometimes stab you in the scalp, and they're not too great for sensitive skin. Wooden combs are the best! That's the best! So another huge shout out to the beard struggle, that's right. Thank you Vikings for sending me this sweet wooden comb. If you guys want to check out the beard struggle, all their links are in the description below, as well as on this video. And if you use my sponsor link, you'll get a little bit of a discount there. <laughs> go, so yeah, go, go check it out, duh. So let me know if you have any other solutions or reasons why you would choose a wooden comb over a metal or plastic comb. Let me know that in the comments, dude. Bro, my son, my daughter. Well, all right, boy. Uh, well, now that your daddy's done telling you how to brush your daggum hair, I guess we'll also learn how to brush our butts. All right, well. <laughs> you guys have a go.